Hello. It's so beautiful. What's your name? Two drinks down here? Yeah, in a minute. Looking good tonight. Hello, Lee. What'll it be? I'm kidding. Got a ginger and rye. Going right your way. You know what I like. Ooh, indeed I do. You looking for a good time tonight, girl? Me and my boy here can make sure that happens for you. What do you say? <laughs> so, how's the night treating you? Not bad. Yeah. So far, anyway. Any trouble tonight? We'll see. You know, Lee, thought just occurs to me. You've been coming here for a long time. Hell, when I opened this place, it seemed like you're already in it. And all that time, I don't think I know anything about you. Well, at least you know one thing. This isn't the last time you'll see me. Come on, sweetheart. You know why you're here. And it isn't for the drinks. Yeah, and it's the same reason you're here all alone and wearing that dress, honey. Are you lost? You need something, pal? You're making my lady friend here uneasy. Let's head out, man. This place is dead. Instead of Livewire on 95th Street, there should be some better ass over there. Yeah, this place is a shithole anyways. Let's bounce. Baby, you change your mind? You know where to find us. Thanks, stranger. Those two wouldn't take a hint. I doubt you needed my help, but those two rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> Plus, this is my favorite chair. Seriously, thank you. I almost lost complete faith in humanity tonight. It's nice to know chivalry isn't dead. Not dead. Saw so some of us dinosaurs walk on the earth. Something tells me you're not a regular here. <laughs> no. It was my first time, and last. <laughs> I was on a date. It didn't go well. He drove, so I stayed. Not much of a story, really. The second act was worse. <laughs> but the third act. The third act, that's the important one, right? We can still save it. You've done enough, really. But what did you have in mind? I think a change in setting is in order. Well, I guess I am a little hungry. Perfect. You know, a great little place around the corner. I think I had a pastrami and rye that will cure whatever ails you. That sounds really nice, actually. Well, shall we? <laughs> you really are a dinosaur.
This is me. Thanks again for waking me from that bad dream. You know what's funny about this? So this is all your fault. It's not our fault. It's not our fault you're here. It's your fault. You put yourself here with your choices. Yeah. See, life is just a whole bunch of choices. And every single one you made brought you right here, right now. That's some heavy shit, I know. So maybe we quit the crying and you just die with some dignity. Oh, you're gonna die. You didn't just think we was gonna let you go, did you? I mean, <laughs> I don't see anybody coming to rescue you, because this is not TV. This is reality. And in the real world, no one gives a shit about you, especially not you. So unless you think you're going to be Houdini all of a sudden, I don't think you're going nowhere. I get it, I get it, I get it, it's the God thing, yeah. You're praying to God, aren't you? You're praying to God right now, that's what you're doing. What, 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 do, you, what do you say to God, huh? What, if I wanted to talk to God, what would I say? If I was you, what would I say? Hey God, how you doing? Mind helping me out here? Maybe a miracle? Maybe? Help this old boy? What? No? Sorry. I don't think God likes you. Hey, hey, hey. You got somewhere to be? Just growing tired of watching you play with your food. Hey, last time I checked, we still eat from the same table. You're the one leaving. Why? Look, 
Just do us a favor. He ain't gonna quit, so just give him what he wants. No, apparently that's what you want. I can do this all night, and you know it. I remember when you could as well. You going soft on me? Oh, I just want to share a way to find out. I'll be down in 30 minutes. He's still mad at me for making you wait? <laughs> it was worth the wait. You just seem off. You said you had a tough day at work, and I know you don't really like to talk about it, but... It was a really tough day. You know I'm here if you ever want to talk about things. The days are getting harder and harder. The job isn't what it used to be. Seeing people at the end of the ropes never used to bother me, but... I'm, I'm not proud of that fact, but lately, it seems to weigh on me. Repossessing people's things, taking their lives from them, just makes me wonder what kind of man am I. You can quit, Lee. Quit your job and do something different. I could. <laughs> I could. Excuse me, Claire. Claire, Lee's been hurt. I'm sorry, do I know you? Lee sent me to find you. He's been in a robot accident. What? He needs to see you. Where is he? Is he okay? I'll take you to him. Just come with me, okay? Is 
Is Lee okay? Yeah, I, I think he'll be okay. It's, it's, it's not that bad, you know, but I, he wanted me to come get you just in case. Did you say Lee was at? I didn't. I didn't say. Where are we going? Just be patient. We'll be there soon enough. No. Please, you have to tell me. Where are we going? Don't you want to know who Lee really is? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm curious. Does he even realize who you are? Who are you? Didn't you ever wonder who it was? All those years ago. Don't you want to know who the two men were that did that to your family? Sweet home. Yeah, I feel the nostalgia too. And believe it or not, this was mine and Lee's very first job. You're so keyed up. God, we couldn't wait. It's the very first time I really felt alive. I don't believe what you're saying. I mean, I wish I could take all the credit, but he was just a little bit more eager than I was. Put two rounds in your dad before I even realized it. Then I finished off your mom, so <laughs> still got my gold star. This is all just a bad dream. Are you looking for Claire? She's gone. I saw her leave this morning. Seemed like she was moving out. It's too bad. She was such a sweet girl. Yeah. She was. He's gone now. You're free to stay as long as you like. Thank you. But I think I'll be going now. I don't mean to pry, but what happened between you two? If he's hurt you in any way, you should really go to the police. No. It's in the past, and I'd rather leave it there. He'll self-destruct eventually. I'm tired of feeling like I have no control. I need to move on. Get out of the city. 
and start a new life. My own life. Looks like you had a rough night. This one's on the house. Thank you. Listen, don't let that guy get you down. I've seen plenty of people come and go through this dive. It's not worth losing any sleep over. I don't know. There's nothing and no one left for me in the city. Sometimes I think I'd be better off just leaving it all behind. You could. You could. Run away every time bad things happen. I don't want to run, but I don't know if I can stay. I'm just tired. I'm tired of waiting around for something or someone good to come along and change my life. Just remember, there are good people in the world and there are bad people in the world. I suppose there's some you can take it or leave it. But bad things are gonna happen to you no matter where you are. Some things are just outside your control. Rent's too high. Elevator's always broke. Parking is a pain in the ass. But it sure is a nice view. That Claire grew up real nice, didn't she? Of course, you'd know a lot more than I would. I mean, I only got one date with her and all. But I don't think she'll forget it. Victor, same shit, different day. You always seem to weasel your way into business that's not your own. So go ahead and make whatever grandiose point you're trying to make. 
It won't change anything. But I know that won't stop you. So just get on with it already. Just so we're not get that. But you can't just pick which side you want to be on. Don't kid yourself. I did you and her both a favor, especially her. I admit I did like pulling that curtain back, though. Showing her the truth. Showing her who you really are. So consider it collateral damage. Just keep that in mind. At this moment, I've only got one thing on my mind. What's that? That I ruined everything for you? You could have been so happy. She's the one girl could have healed your sick soul. I also know you're afraid of the mirror, Lee. You ignore it just like you're ignoring the truth right now. You're just like me. I know, because I'm just like you. Except I'm better. I'm nothing like you. You're scum, nothing more. I could have been a good man. I could have had a new life. But you saw fit to fuck that up. I'm tired of you standing in my way. You're just a mad dog that needs to be put down. And you're wrong about everything. No, I'm right. I know it and you know it, Lee. It's your only hang up. You just refuse to accept who you are. I'm mad. I'm mad. Maybe I am. At least I can admit that. What does that make you? Your keeper who's lost his patience. My life doesn't need something like you to infect it. Your life? You are an infection, Lee. Everything you touch is infected. That's why I had to save that girl from your sick plot. 